This video demonstrates how Qt Quick Designer can be used to create a simple interactive UI that contains three pages and UI controls for navigating between them. The item library shows a couple of items that we created earlier. We can use any item from the item library by dragging it to the canvas. Caption bar has an URL property called source, like an image does. We set the URL to an image by double-clicking the item. Styled button uses a styling API from our Qt Quick controls. By double-clicking the bottom item, we can edit the text property. To keep the layout resizable, we anchor the item to its parent in the property editor. Now we drag in a label and set the text in the property editor. We use copy and paste to duplicate the label and edit the size property. This label serves as a mockup for a calendar. Next, we will add an integer property to the root item. This property will define the margin of the inner rectangle that is called page 1. To make this work, we use the binding editor to bind the anchor's margin property to the global margin property of the root item. Notice how the margin did change. Now we duplicate the page using copy and paste. The copy will have the same binding to global margin. We choose another icon for the caption bar and delete the labels. This time we use copy and paste to duplicate the button. We drag in a text field from the Qt Quick controls. Multi selection allows us to move several items at once. Now we create a third page. This time we drag in a component that includes the pass free from our examples. We can use the context menu or F2 to enter the component. Now we are inside the path item component and we edit the path of the path view. After we are finished, we use the breadcrumbs navigation to get back into our original QML file. Now we add two states to our UI that will enable users to switch between the pages. After adding the states, we adjust the visible property of each page so it fits the state. Our UI now has three different states. We use the connection editor to add actions to the signal handlers of our buttons. We always want to react to the clicked signal. Because each button has a meaningful ID, they are easy to find in the navigator. Now we want to check what happens if we added the global margin property of the root item. All three pages have a binding to global margin. And because we use anchors, our UI is resized properly. By using dynamic properties and bindings, we can avoid hard coding values in several places that we might want to change later. Now we press the Run button to test our UI.